a sort of follow up video to the video I did on running Windows 3.1 on a Nokia 5800 phone. What I've now done is I've got it running on a PDA. This is an Acer N30 PDA. It's got a ARM processor, I'm not sure exactly what model it is. And it um, runs Windows Mobile 2003 Second Edition. So I've got the DOS box Windows Mobile port on it. And I've set it up with Windows 3.1 like I did on the phone. But this runs much better and is actually usable. You, you, the touch screen is obviously usable. I've got a touch screen, I can use that. As you can sort of see. But the calibration like on the phone is completely off when you're using Windows. Not on, not normally, just when you're using Windows. And the on screen keyboard's tiny, so I've connected up an external desk set of keyboard and mouse um, to the PDA's USB port. There's actually a sort of, I don't know if you can see it here. Not really. There's a USB port on the back of the device here, this, there. This is on the docking station of the PDA. So I've connected that to my keyboard and mouse. It's a USB extension cable to run that. I do apologise for the screen quality. I don't obviously have a screen capture utility for PDAs. So, first thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to launch DOSBox. Oops, get the mouse. It's hard to do it because it's on its side. Then run this. I set it to automatically load Windows automatically. And there's Windows booting. It seems to load and stuff a bit slower than on the phone. Though I think it's got this does have a slightly slower processor though. But it does run better, like it doesn't crash continuously and it actually is usable. Okay. So it's still loading up, shouldn't take too long now. And there we go, there's the main thing. I'm trying to use a mouse extremely hard as it does not work very well. Um because you'll see there's two mouse pointers, I don't know if you can see that. There's one here, the big one, and there's a little one here. They both move at the same time. And I'm trying to make the small one is what I'm, is the one that's actually use, act, like, active at the moment. So I'll go to the help menu to see if I can open about program manager like I did before. Here we go. I'll just zoom in so you can see that. Hopefully this is visible for you. There it is. Minus Windows Program Manager version 2.1. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what else we can get the same to do. And you can do a lot more obviously than on the phone. So, uh, mouse is driving me mad. Okay, let's see what else we can do. We can open this README that we um, couldn't do before. It isn't fast, but it does work. Any minute now. There we go. Just watch how slowly it loads the text up. And this isn't any fancy stuff, this is a text document. And that's how slow it actually is. So it's not. That's just sort of idea of how bad this actually does run. But it works. It's pretty cool as well. Come on. Then we go to close. <laughs> even taking ages to close. Come on, close. Hurry up. There we go. And now we're still waiting. Okay, you can open all that stuff. Let's close this off so we can see more interesting programs. I'm just using all the default programs, I'm not installing anything else. So let's see what happens in the game section. Okay, we have Salt here and Minesweeper. I'll use Minesweeper. And you get the idea, you know, uh, click, click, click. Quite, oh, oops. Minimized it somehow. That's super. Yeah. Oh, well, I need to fix that one. There we go. Okay. Click. 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 Oh, we're wrong. We're clicking the wrong mouse. Oh, no. Have you frozen or something? No. Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. No. This went your window session. I almost quit it somehow. Okay. Blah, blah. Click. Click. Click, I don't know, um, just trying to make this one. Try to do it so I die in it there. Blew up a bomb, there we go. You get the idea, it's Minesweeper. Okay, let's see what else we can get running on this. Let's see if we can call up Program Manager again. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Come on, close. But you can see how it's working, it's working quite well. There's obviously a lot more I could do in this, I just don't want to 
sit for ages trying to do this. If you if you've used DOSBox on the PC, it's very similar to set up, and there's very there's loads of instructions on how to do that. So I'll just show you sort of shutting it down. Comes up here with this message. I don't know if you can read that. I'll move that over. Basically, this will end your Windows session. It's saying hit OK. So we can just type exit to exit DOSBox, and there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And you can also visit my website at camerongray.me.